Good afternoon, church. Ah, parang hindi po ay nakapagtanghalian na. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. Let us all stand as we open our afternoon service with singing. Please turn your hymnal to hymnal number 285. Hymnal number 285. We will be singing Joy to the World. We will be singing the first and last stanza. Hymn number 285, say amen if you are there. Amen. amen. On the first stanza, ready, sing. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven. of his love and wonders and wonders of his love. Amen. For our opening prayer, let us call on Brother Gilbert Du. Tayo po yung manalangin. Dakilang Diyos, maraming salamat po sa hapong ito na pinagkalit po sa amin. Muli, binalik po kami sa inyong tahanan. Huwag kayo aming papurihan, kasalamatan, sambayin sa Espiritu at Katotohanan. Panginoon, dalain din po namin sa inyo, Panginoon, ang gawain namin sa hapong ito, ang inyong pong pangunahan, ang junior, uh, well, presentation po namin ngayon, dalain po namin, Panginoon, na magpalain niyo po ang mga bata na aawit. Dalain din po namin, Panginoon, na tayong pangalan lamang po ninyo, ang papurihan. Panginoon, dalain din po namin sa inyo, ang inyong pong anak na gagamitin sa pulpitong ito. Papatuloy niyo po siyang bigyan ng kalakasan, pangangatawan, wisdom, Panginoon, tapat na puso. Ang may bahagi sa amin ang inyong salita. Sa kalagitnaan po namin, Panginoon, kung mayroon man po na hindi pa po nakakilala sa inyo, bilang Diyos, sariling tapagligtas sa kailang buhay, naway mangusap po kayo, Panginoon, sa kanila upang kayo tanggapin. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa patuloy niyo pagpapala sa bawat isa sa amin. Itong aming samot na langit, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may all be seated as you listen to the choir.
Amen. Thank you, choir. Indeed, we should carry the light, continue to carry the light as Christians. Let us all stand once again and get our hymnals as we sing hymnal number 290. 290, O Little Town of Bethlehem. We will be singing the first and last stanza. On the first stanza, ready, sing. afternoon and welcome to our afternoon service. Well, tonight we're going to witness the first part of our cantata. Uh, we have a three-part cantata. This, uh, the, tonight with the junior choir will be presenting their music, Christmas musical presentation entitled Census Time in Bethlehem. We would like to also to extend the invitation to you next Sunday as the, the Royal Christian Academy will also have their cantata entitled Back to the Manger and on December 15th, uh, the, our choir, who just sang a while ago, will be re rendering also their cantata entitled Shine the Light of Christmas. Remember these dates, December 8th and December 15th, and invite your friends to be back and to be, as we hear the story of the Christmas and the reason why Jesus came. Tandaan po natin yung mga dates po na yan. Okay? Uh, and then, uh, don't forget po, this is also for our members, this is the first... Uh, Sunday for our commitment, New Year for the, our commitment as we give to missions. Uh, we praise the Lord for His blessings to us. And as we continue to be witnesses and to partner with other missionaries, uh, let us always be faithful in uh, giving our uh, commitment, uh, amount of paid promise giving uh, in the amount of uh, 54,775. If you have not yet turned in your commitment slip, well, this afternoon po, pwede pa po yan at, uh, to be counted po, okay? We have another fresh 52 um, weeks as we partner with our missionaries and let us always be a witness for the Lord, okay? So, good afternoon again and we would like to recognize now our first-time visitors. If this is your first time to be at Baptist Bible Church, can you please stand up po to be recognized? If this is your first time to be at Baptist Bible Church, can you please stand up po? Meron po ba? Yan, mga bata na ating sinusundo. Well, yan, welcome. To, saan lugar sila? Saan lugar? Palansa. Sampalo. Okay, so we praise the Lord. Again, thank you, sir. In the middle, thank you very much. Welcome to our service. Meron pa po ba? We don't want to miss anyone. Okay. So let's all please stand up and let's sing our welcome song. Amen. Let us go around and shake hands as we sing our welcome song. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. 
love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. What a sight just to see all the happy faces praising God in heavenly places. Love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. Ang puso ko'y masaya pagkasama ko kayo sa Diyos sumiibig. Puso ko'y masaya pagkasama ko kayo sa Diyos sumiibig. Kay inam pagmasdan ng kanyang gawain na Diyos ang pinupuri natin o ako'y masaya pagkasama ko kayo. Tanging sa Diyos ay umiibig. Amen. Please remain standing as we call on Brother Roli Javier to lead us in our offertory prayer. Tayo po ay mandaling manalangin sa Panginoon. Gracious, loving Father, thank you so much for this afternoon, for allowing us to be here in your church, to uh, worship you uh, in the beauty of your holiness. And uh, we humbly come to you this afternoon. Thank you, Lord, for uh, the children. They are about to sing praises to you. May you bless them as they grow old. And uh, the truths and the contents of their songs that they, that they will be singing tonight, uh, may this be a... Uh, Put them in their hearts as, as they grow and uh, grow old and grow in their spiritual life. Then bless our uh, visitors today, this, this evening. May you uh, enlighten them and open them about the true meaning of uh, Christmas, why you came here. And bless the gift that you are, we are about to give. Bless the giver and the gift. And uh, may you continually supply the needs of your people. And continually bless uh, all the members here so that we may be able to uh, give. That is uh, due to you, to you, Lord, and to be used for you, the furtherance of your gospel. All this we pray in Christ's most precious name. Amen. 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 You may all be seated. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to tonight's presentation of Census Time, brought to you by the BBC Junior Choir. Join us as we journey back to the days of the first Christmas and witness the story of God's love through the eyes of children. And now, let us warmly welcome the Baptist Bible Church Junior Choir.
Joseph, I'm glad we made it to Bethlehem. I was uh, getting a bit concerned. That was a long ride. I'm thankful God has provided a place to stay. It's not much, but... It's not I will have to pick, but it's God's provision for the birth of His Son, and I think... Hello, my name is Benjamin A. Countable. Just call me B.A. for short. Well, Mr. B. Countable, how may we help you? My wife had a long ride, and we are very tired, and... The census is why are you here, right? Look, I don't have much time. I got people to see, places to go, and person to count. You're lucky I found you in this table of all places. Well, we're glad you found us. Good, good. And you are? I'm Joseph from the line of David. This is my fiancé Mary, also from the line of David. Yes, and we are expecting a baby. A baby? Oh, no. That just means I have to come back because there's no way you could know if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Well, actually we... That just means I have to come back to get an accurate count. Well, no, you won't have to come back because we know this baby will be a boy and his name will be Jesus. What? The baby hasn't been born yet. We know because God came to us in a dream and told us. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. You're telling me that you already know the baby's going to be a male? Yes, and his name will be Jesus. <laughs> I never heard of this before, knowing the baby's going to be a boy or a male. Even the child is even born. I don't, ha I don't have time, but I definitely get back to verify this birth of this baby boy, Jesus. Joseph, look at those ten little toes. And ten little fingers. I still can't believe all of this, Joseph. God wants us to raise his only son. Hello, I'm back. Ah, I see I cannot complete my census now. Congratulations. Thanks. So let's get this over with quickly. I got the mother and the father both from the line of David. Yes. And is a child a male or a female? Male. I told you it was going to be a boy. Sure enough, you did. And you said his name could be Jesus. He is Jesus, but you also named Emmanuel. So this baby's name is Jesus Emmanuel? Yes.
Okay, I've got it. This child's name is Jesus Emmanuel. Yes, but he has many others. Uh, I got one more question. I need to confirm the father's full name. I'm assuming it's you, Joseph. Well, actually, the father is God. What? This baby is the son of God. Yes, he's amazing. What are you saying? Hurry, hurry, hurry. This is the place we found him. Wow, look! Just like the angel said, the baby is lying in clothes in a manger. Wow, beautiful, unbelievable, amazing! Okay, I've got it. So, for now, I'm going to leave the father, father's name blank. But I've got to ask you, shepherds, are you registered for the census? Who are you? Well, I'm be accountable, official Roman census worker. If you don't mind, I've got a job to do. And this one baby is proving to be quite unprecedented. How did you know about this bird? Well, we were out in the fields watching the sheep. And an angel of the Lord came, and the glory of the Lord was in the sky. It really scared us. But the angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born unto you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Then the angel told us that we would find a baby right here in Bethlehem. So then... All of a sudden, a bunch of angels started praising God and saying, Glory to God in thy seven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. So after all the angels left, we said, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing which the Lord told us about. We are so honored to be here. We're happy to have you. Okay. I've got to ask you, shepherds, are you undocumented workers or have registered in your own town? I need to get an accurate count. We have already registered, but we had to come and see the Messiah, the Savior. Are you referring to one male child I have registered as Jesus Emmanuel? Well, he's more than just Jesus Emmanuel. He is a wonderful counselor. Mighty God! Everlasting Father! 
Prince of Peace. Be a can you see? This child is the long awaited one. The one prophesied. He is worth to be loved and adored. God has chosen all of us to witness this miracle. I do understand now. This child is the Messiah, the Son of the Living God, Jesus the Christ. Yes, this is the long-awaited King. VA will celebrate Christ this day.
Amen. Wala kayo. Ang nagdala ng kantata, si Taktak. <laughs> It's Christmas time. Yung isang bigay na bigay, nasa dulo eh, no? Yung healthy po eh. Tak, okay ka lang dyan, tak. Parang itaktak mo yun ah. I like that. Wow. It's nice to see these kids. They are singing for the Lord. Uh, sige, may mga bata rin dito. Let's study muna the Bible. Let's go to the Bible. I'm not going to preach long. Uh, we are going to remember the Lord's birth. If you have your Bibles with you, I invite you to please stand up. Short lang po ito. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. We have a good crowd this afternoon. Luke chapter 2. I'll be reading verses 1 until verse 7. Follow me through your eyes as I read the passage. Yung mga bata, makinig po kayo ng salita ng Diyos. Yan, tahimik lang, short lang. Sabi ng Bible, Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 7, the Bible says, And it came to pass in those days that there were a, went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger Because there was no room for them in the inn. May God bless the reading of His Word. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer? Lord, we thank You for the joy that the Christ's birth has been giving unto us since He was born on that lowly manger. Lord, we thank You for these kids that at a young age, they celebrate the birth of Christ just like what the angels did. Thank you, Lord, for this time that we could reminisce, that we could go back to the manger where the Son of God, the precious Son of God was born to save us, to save mankind from sin and bless us. Ingatan mo aming mga kaibigan, ang mga bata na makilala kanila bilang kanilang tagapagligtas at Panginoon ng kanilang buhay. Kayo po ang mag-ingat sa amin. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ng Panginoong Yesus. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you very much. Konting istorya lang. The story of Jesus Christ happened in Israel. That is in the Middle East. Hindi yan dito sa Pilipinas. Hindi yan sa probinsya. It happened way there, uh, far away in the Middle East. Yung Middle East, malayo yon. Kung mag-travel ka ng by plane, it will take you Eight to nine hours, no? Siguro kung sa Israel pa, another one hour, mga ten hours. Mag-travel ka by plane, so malayo yan. It is just a small country, Israel. Many years ago, God talked to a virgin, and her name was Mary. Isang virgin, ibig sabihin, isang babaeng, hindi pa nakakakilala sa isang lalaki. And she became pregnant. It's because of the Holy Spirit overshadowed her. The birth of Jesus Christ was a miracle. Kasi ipinanganak siya ng isang babaeng wala pang kilalang lalaki. Minsan, sa bata, ang hirap i-explain yan. Ano? Wala pa siya. Kasi may asawa siya, pero hindi pa sila nagsasama kasi wala pa silang public marriage. Mag-asawa na sila, pero betrothed, uh, engaged sila. Kasi sa Israel, pag sinabing engaged na sila, will you marry me? Consider as husband and wife. But publicly, hindi pa sila mag-asawa. Kasi kailangan pa ng public wedding. So si Mary, meron siyang asawa. Ang pangalan ay Joseph. And Mary was informed na magkakaroon siya ng baby through an angel. Ang pangalan ng angel ay si Gabriel. And then later on, nalaman ni Mary yan, 
napapansin ni Mary yung womb niya, lumalaki siya. Wala pa siyang nakikilalang lalaki. Lumalaki yung, yung sinapupunan niya. Mga bata, nakakita na kayo ng, ng buntis na, na, na babae? <laughs> Oo, siguro naman. Siyempre sa play namin, sa play naman ng mga bata, hindi naman pwedeng mag-play si ate doon na gano'n. Pero lumaki yun siya. And then, nandoon sila sa Nazareth. Kasi pag ang Israel, gusto ko lang makita ninyo, mapicture ninyo. Mapicture ninyo when Jesus Christ, nung siya ay nilagay doon sa may virgin womb, si Mary tsaka si Joseph, nakatira sila sa Nazareth. Yung Nazareth kasi, nandun yun sa Galilee. Ang Israel kasi, tatlo yung part niya. Galilee, Samaria, and Judea. Parang yung Pilipinas. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Pero mas maliit yung Israel. Yung Galilee is a province. Doon nakatira si Joseph at si Mary. Yung Nazareth, yung, yung, yung Nazareth, doon yun. Isa yun sa town sa Galilee. And then may another na place, Samaria. Nasa baba yung Judea. Nung lumalaki ng tiyan ni Mary, all of a sudden, ang Israel noon, it was occupied by the Roman Empire. Nung pinanganak ang Panginoon, ang nagru-rule sa mundo noon ay mga Roman soldiers, Roman Empire. Malulupit yung mga Roman Empire. Sila yung may mga helmet na parang may brass. Tapos meron silang mga spear and then kaya nilang mag-conquer ng mundo because they were trained soldiers. Ang Israel noon was occupied by Roman Empire. Wala silang freedom. Sila ay malupit na nirurul ng mga Romans. When Roman Emperor by the name of Augustus, alam nyo ang Bible accurate talaga eh. If you read the history, Augustus Caesar, nung pinanganak si Jesus Christ, it was the reign of Caesar Augustus. When Jesus Christ died, it was the reign of Tiberius Augustus. And Caesar Augustus is in history. Nagkaroon siya ng announcement, all the people should be taxed. Meaning to say, magbabayad sila ng buwis sa Roman Empire at para magawa mo yan, babalik ka kung saan ka pinanganak. There was a census in Bethlehem. Since si Joseph at si Mary, hindi naman talaga sila taga Nazareth, galing sila ng Judea, particularly Bethlehem. Taga doon sila. So that's why they have to travel from Nazareth to Judea. Doon sa may Bethlehem, particularly Bethlehem. Do you have any idea gano'ng kalayo yung from Nazareth to Bethlehem? Ayon sa geography natin, it is about 90 miles. Para malaman nyo yan, it, it will take you four or five days to travel. So malayo yun. And all the people, kung saan sila pinanganak, pupunta sila sa kanilang nativity land. That's why Jerusalem was filled with people. Because of the order of the, of the emperor, all people should be taxed. Lalagyan ng census, alam kung saan ka pinanganak, doon ka mag appear Not only that, during the time of the taxation of the Augustus Caesar, it also coincided with that, is the Feast of the Tabernacles. Any idea what is the Feast of the Tabernacles? Ang Feast ng Tabernacles, sinaselebrate the Jewish, the Jewish people, they have a lot of festivities. One of them is the Feast of the Tabernacles. What is the Feast of the Tabernacles? Or it is also called the Feast of the Booths. Anong ginagawa nila? Kasi yun yung araw na bumaba ang Diyos sa tabernacle. Wala pang temple nun. Sa Shiloh yun. When God indwelt with men through the tabernacles that Moses made, bumaba ang Diyos through the pillar of clouds. And every year, that date, alam niyo ba kung kailan nangyayari yan sa Jewish calendar? It's between September and October. So most likely, if you are, if kung ikaw-compute nyo ang birth talaga ni Christ, magpo-fall siya ng between September and October. Hindi talaga winter time. Pero kinaselebrate lang natin, it's because the Spirit ay nandirito na. But during those times, there were two events. 
Roman taxation, and Feast of the Tabernacles. Ang ginagawa ng mga Hudyo, when celebrating the Feast of the Tabernacles, they went out of their habitation, ng mga bahay nila. Nagtatayo sila ng boots. Remembering about when God dwelt among the tabernacles, niri-remember nila yon, and they were celebrating it for seven days. And Jewish from other nations gathered in Jerusalem. So the, the city of Jerusalem was filled with people because of, that two, because of those two events. Kaya nga sabi ng Bible, when Mary was about to give birth, nandun sila sa Jerusalem kasi yun yung city nila. Yun yung city nila, si Joseph and Mary. When Mary was there, she was about to give birth. Kasi sabi ng Bible, kabuanan niya na. Ilang buwan tumitira ang bata sa tiyan ng nanay, mga bata, bago siya iluwal. Ha? Huwag mga bata sasagot, mga bata. Hindi yung isip bata. Nine! Nine months kayo sa tiyan ng nanay niya. Meron yung iba excited lumabas. Seven months pa lang lumalabas na. Yung mga premature. Meron bang inabot? Nag-overdue, di ba? Meron bang nag-overdue, di ba? Yung nagkabigote na, tsaka lumabas. <laughs> <laughs> Pag nag-overdue kayo, mamamatay yung nanay niyo kasi doon na kayo dudo, may doon na kayo. Ano. So dapat yan, nine months lang. And Mary, nine months na siya. Nasa Jerusalem sila. And then, gusto ng mga anak ni Mary. And then where, where, where they were in Jerusalem, katok sila. Joseph, sabi Joseph, mga anak na yung, yung asawa ko. Kasi tinignan nila, nag, 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 ano muna siya, nag-google siya, puno na yung PGH. Sabi niya. Tinignan na rin, sa Chinese General Hospital naman, hindi nila ma-afford kasi mahirap lang siya, carpenter lang siya. And then nak na lang sila. Sa mga inn, during those times, maraming mga inn, mga maliliit na hotels. Yung mga travelers, doon sila tumitira pag sila ay pumupunta ng Jerusalem. And then when they were in Jerusalem, since the city is filled with people, sabi ng mga hotel, wala na, no vacancy na. Puno na, pati yung parking area. And then, binibiro na kamang, maniwala yung iba, no? nag speak lang ako sa 21st century language para maintindihan ninyo. Pero wala namang parking, no? wala pang Google noon. Baka may mag- mag-isip kayo. Ibig sabihin, wherever they go, tapos naglakad sila from Jerusalem to Bethlehem is 9 kilometers. Could you imagine? Si Mary naglakad siya at bawat matag- magkuha nila ng inn. There was no room in the inn. And Mary has to travel 9 kilometers. There was no room for Jesus Christ because the world was being taxed and the Jewish people were celebrating the, the feast of the tabernacle. Hey, listen to this. The world was so busy when Jesus Christ was born. The world was so busy, yet the word, the word, the logos, the Jesus Christ was silently born and laid in a manger. Jesus Christ has to be born in a manger. Siguro yung huling-huli nila, kumatok sila, mga anak na yung asawa ko. Siguro sabi na may ari, uh, wala akong room may offer. I don't have any room to offer. It's full of people. Pero doon sa baba, doon, kaso nga lang, Sabi ni Joseph, tsaka, mm-hmm, mm, iba amoy. Nandun yung, di ba, iba, iba amoy. Naka, di ba? And Jesus Christ was born in a manger. Question, why Christ was born in a manger? There was no prophecy that He would be born in a manger, but there is a prophecy that He would be born in Bethlehem. But why manger? Eh, yun ang pag-uusapan natin. Isang reason pala why Jesus Christ was born in a manger, I asked a Jewish pastor. Alam niyo, sabi niya, Jewish to. Ibig sabihin, magaling mag-interpret ng Bible. Jesus Christ was born in a manger is because yung mga literal na lamb, pinapanganak sa sabsaban. 
and the Lamb of God was born in a manger, literally. Tingnan niyo ang galing ni Jesus Christ, ano? Even yung pagbaba niya, that was the very day na bumaba ang Diyos sa tabernacle. And that was the very day that God went down to earth. Jesus Christ fulfilled every prophecy in the Bible. But during those times, sabi ng Bible, there was no room for them in the inn. Walang ma-offer. Jerusalem has no room to offer to the incoming king. Alam nyo, even in our time, thousands of years later, it is already 2024. And sad thing is that it's the story is still the same. The world was so busy. The world has no room for Jesus, Jesus Christ. The world was so busy with its life, with its life, busy life. And this world has no room for Jesus Christ. No time for the King. Where there are a lot of people, they were busy. Ang, ba, ang, ang, ang mundo, ang Pilipinas, busy. San busy ang Pilipino? Punta kayo dito sa SM Center Point. Busy, mag-shopping. Busy in decorating. Busy in reunion. Busy in party. But the question is, where is Jesus Christ? Nasaan ang Panginoon? Yes, ang Pilipino magandang mag-celebrate. Pero pag ang Pilipino, pag nagse-celebrate ng Pasko, marami rin lasing. Yung kumakag- yung mga kumanta kanina, yung nandito, hindi, to, hindi po lasing yun. Ha? <laughs> hindi lasing yun. Ang mapagkamalin yung lasing yun. Excited lang! Taktak, nasa ka na? Itaktak mo. The world is so busy. They were preoccupied by a lot of things and there's no room, no time for the Lord Jesus Christ, no time for the Bible, no time for the prayer, no time for the hearing of God's Word. There is no room for Jesus in their hearts. No room for Jesus. The Bible says, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The question this afternoon, our heart is full is our heart full of material things? Is our heart full of material things of this world? Because there was no room. The Lord is knocking in your heart, but you could not offer room for the Lord. What is your heart's priority? What is your heart occupying right now? It is filled with many things, but where is Jesus there? Why Jesus Christ has no room in your heart? I don't know what's inside of your heart. Hindi ko alam kung nanong laman ng puso ninyo. Is it full of sin? Is it full of lust? Is it full of hatred? Is it full of carnality? Is it full of foolishness? Yes, the place was right when Christ was born. The place was right, Bethlehem. The time was right, Galatians 4.4. 4. But when the fullness of the time has come, God sent forth His Son, made of a woman, made under the law. The time was right, the place was right, but the treatment was not. Because Jesus Christ was born in a manger. He was not supposed to be laid there because He is the King. And I believe with all my heart, Jesus Christ deserves a better place. Do you believe that? Siguro ko ang Panginoon ipapanganak uli. He deserved a better place. He deserved a first-class air-conditioned room. He deserved a first-class nursery room. Yes, He deserves a first-class supervision. Kung uso na yung diaper noon, hindi siya ibinalot sa swaddling clothes. He deserves those things. He deserves first-class nurses, first-class doctors, first-class hospital. Yes, the king deserves our best. But there was no room for Jesus Christ. There was no room for the Lord. We gave him our second class. We gave him our economy room. There was no class with that. Well, first time that we went to Dubai, we were given the opportunity, my wife and I were given the opportunity to 
aboard a first class, business class. First time kung sumakay po ng business class, puro economy ng palan laman ako. Business class and it's fly Emirates. Pauwi kami. Eh, wala naman ako dyan. Ignorante naman ako dyan. Coming from Dubai, first class. Di ba merong lounge yun? May, may kakainan ka ng masarap? And we were, we were looking for that room. Sabi ko, saan ba yung masarap na kainan dito? Kasi first class daw to business class. Sabi ng wife ko, ayan niya, ayan, ayan, papa. Hindi, kapihan lang yan eh. Puro kape lang nakikita ko. Ang first class. Yung pala na dun sa may second floor. Siyempre, sa, sa airport naman, bawal ka magtanong. Lahat yan, naka-flash. All you have to do is to read everything. Ah, nandoon. Wow. And sa aking excitement, <clears throat> nakita ugat. Eh. Gutom na gutom ako eh. Nakita ugat yung mga sandwich. Ang sarap nun, men. First class sandwich. Sarap. First class dates. Sabi nung, nung kabayan, kabayan, tikman mo yan. Ang mga royalties lang ako makain yan. Tignan nga, tikman ko nga. Ang sarap nung dates. May kadate na ako. Ang sarap pa nung dates. And then all of a sudden, when we were filled with sandwiches, nakadalang sandwich ako eh. Meron pa pa, malaki pala yun. Nandun pa pala yung masasarap na pagkain. Umigot ako. Nandun yung masasarap na biryani. Diba? Wala, puno na, gusok na ako. And we were, I thank the Lord for that. I'm saying this not to brag about this. I, I thank the Lord for that. Libre lang lahat yun. At alam mo, naiyak talaga ako doon. Nandun kami sa first class, tapos parang hindi ko deserve eh, dahil mga mayayaman yung nandun eh. eh Siyempre, parang mga umakting, umarting mayaman naman ako, eh binigyan ako ng Jordan shoes. Ah, Jordan shoes! Ah, ah, Jordan shoes! Ah. Wala naman din pumansin sa akin. No big deal. But the Lord deserved our first class. The Lord deserved our first class when we serve Him. There was no room for Jesus Christ. Anong inoffer nila? It's just a manger. No room for the Lord. Sa aming mga kaibigan, hindi ko alam. Mga bata, ano iniisip nyo pag Pasko? Sino gusto aginaldo? May tuturo akong tao sa inyo. Ha? Lapitan nyo mamaya. <laughs> Yung sekretary ng church dito. <laughs> Hindi, <laughs> joke lang, joke lang, joke. Oh, wala ko sinabing pangalan, ha? Sinong gusto ng aginaldo? Taas ang kamay! Pinatataas ko lang, hindi ko sinabing magbibigay. Oh, baba nyo na! Punta kayo sa mga ninong at ninang nyo, ha? Sa Pasko. Alam nyo ba, mga bata, nakita nyo yung mga batang kumanta rito? Kasing edad nyo lang, di ba? It's census time. You know why they sing this afternoon? Makinig kayo. Nung dumating si Jesus Christ, walang umawit para sa kanya. Mga angels lang. Hindi siya sinalubong ng kanya mga piniling mga tao. They were busy. Busy sila sa taxation. Busy sila in celebrating the Feast of the Tabernacles. Pero hindi nila alam bumaba na yung Diyos na katawang taong na. Alam nyo ba bakit si Jesus Christ pinanganak sa sabsaban? Hindi lang para magkaroon kayo ng aginaldo. Hindi lang para magkaroon ng bagong damit. Hindi lang para magkaroon ng bagong sapatos. Hindi lang para makahingi ng, ng 20 pesos, ng 50 pesos. Hindi lang para makakain ng mansanas. Ang git sa lahat, matanggap nyo ang regalo ng buhay na walang hanggan na ibinibigay ni Jesus Christ. Kasi after na siyang ipinanganak, lumaki siya. And at the age of 30, nag-umpisa na siyang magpagaling at pinaalala niya kung sino siya. Kasi hindi siya ordinaring tao. Isa siyang Diyos na nagkatawang tao. At wala siyang kasalanan. Sapagkat ipinanganak siya ng isang birhen. Wala rin siyang ginawang kasalanan. Kaya siya isang perfect sacrifice para sa kasalanan natin. And he was crucified. Ipinako siya. At ang sabi ng Bible, yung dugo niya na dumanak doon sa krus ng Kalmaryo, yun yung pinambayad sa kasalanan natin. Uuwi kayo ngayon. Pero huwag kayong uuwi na hindi nyo tanggap ang pinakamagandang regalo ng Pasko. Walang imba kundi si Heso Kristo. Sapagkat ang buhay at ang istorya ni Jesus Christ ay hindi lang nag-umpisa sa sabsaban hanggang doon sa bundok ng Kalbaryo. Kaya mga bata, pag kayo magsisisi ng kasalanan at tatanggapin nyo ang Panginoong Yesus, papapasukin mo siya sa iyong puso at sa iyong buhay, 
Nung panahon noon, wala, hindi nila tinatanggap ang Panginoon. Pero sa hapon na ito, bigyan mo ng puwang ang Panginoon sa puso mo. Bigyan mo ng bakante ang Panginoon sa puso mo. Sabi ng Ephesians 3.17, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Gusto mong tumira ni Jesus Christ sa puso mo. Kung mananampalataya ka at magsisisi ka ng kasalanan mo, matatanggap mo ang pinakadakilang regalo ng Pasko. Walang iba kundi ang buhay na walang hanggan na nanggagaling kay Jesus Christ. Gusto niyo ba yun, mga bata? Tatanggap kayo ng pera sa Pasko pero mauubos yun. Pero yung buhay na walang hanggan, hindi mauubos. Kaya nga buhay na walang hanggan. Tingin mong batang to, naiintindihan yung sinasabi ko. Buhay na walang hanggan. Itong mga batang nakita nyo, kumanta lang sila ng 30 minutes. Pero nung nag-practice yan, gadugo yung pawis ng mga teacher. Pero kaya sila umawit, gusto nilang magbigay ng papuri sa isang hari na ipinanganak lamang sa sabsaban. At gusto nilang mag-celebrate sa kapat, Emmanuel! Buti na lang kanina, kanina baliktad, di ibabasa ko ba? <laughs> Sabi niya, binaliktad niya, ayun, tama na! Nung bumaba ang Nung ipinanganak doon sa sabsaban, siya yung Diyos na gumawa, lumika ng lahat ng bagay. Siya talaga yung Diyos na makapangyarihan. Kaya nga naglalakad siya sa tubig. Kaya nga sa nagbibigay, nagpapagaling ng mga patay, nagpapabuhay ng mga patay, nagpapagaling ng mga may sakit, siya yung Diyos. Sabi ng Bible, Emmanuel, kasama natin ang Diyos. At huwag lang natin kasama ang Diyos. Maganda, mapa sa atin ang Diyos sa aming mga nanay at tatay na mga anak ninyo, tuwan-tuwa kayo, umawit sila. Hindi sila umawit para i-entertain kayo. Umawit sila para malaman ninyo, kailangan nyo ang Emmanuel. Kailangan nyo si Jesus Christ. The reason of the season is none other than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came on earth not just to have fun, not just to have family reunion, not just to have celebrate these things, but to know that Jesus Christ came on earth to save sinners. Ililigtas niya ang sangkatauhan. Kaya ang mga batang ito, masasaya. Would you receive Him in your heart? More than 2,000 years ago, there was no room for Jesus. Sana itong 21st century, merong room si Jesus Christ sa puso natin. That's why itong church, challenge ko kayo ha. December 25, 10 a.m., merong worship sa Santa Mesa. I'm not going to judge you. If Jesus Christ has room in your heart, then worship Him on that day. Sa aming mga kaibigan, ang kailangan mong, kailangan, magsisi ka ng kasalanan mo, manampalataya ka na si Jesus Christ. Inilipinu, siya ay pinanganak ng isang berhen na buhay na walang kasalanan, ipinako para sa ating mga kasalanan. At sino man ang tatanggap sa Kanya, ibibigyan ng kapangyarihan upang maging anak ng Diyos at magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Tayo tayong lahat, tayo ay pumikit. Let us all close our eyes and bow down our heads. Salamat, Panginoon. Napakasaya ng mga bata. Nung pinanganak ka, the first time that you came here, the Jewish people, your own chosen people, they did not celebrate. Only the angels sang praises unto God. But Lord, we don't want to let that opportunity to pass through us that without celebrating about the coming of Jesus Christ. Yes, these kids, they just sang praises unto thee. Nagpapasalamat sila sapagkat ang Emmanuel, ang Diyos ay bumaba. And we have all the reason to celebrate because God gave His only begotten Son to save mankind. Lord, ang panalangin ko sa aming mga bisita, sa mga nanay at tatay, at sa mga bata na nandito, makilala ka nila bilang Panginoon. Siya yung dakilang regalo ng Pasko. Kung kami ay mananampalataya na ang Panginoong Yesus ay namatay, inilibing at nabuhay na magmuli, magkakaroon kami ng buhay na walang hanggan. Mga bata, habang nakapikit ang bawat isa sa aming mga nanay at tatay, habang nakapyuko at nakapikit, walang titingin sa katabi, sa hapon na ito, meron kami unang kantata ngayong Disyembre. Ang aming dahilan at layunin, ay makilala mo si Kristo, si Jesus Christ. Siya talaga ang regalo ng Pasko.
Pag manampalataya ka na siya inamatay para sa iyong kasalanan, inilibing siya pero nabuhay siya uli. Pagkatapos ng tatlong araw. At sabi ng Bible, pag nanampalataya ka sa magandang balita na yan, yan ang magkaroon ka ng buhay na walang gan. Meron ba sa aming kalagitnaan, I'm going to make an invitation. Pastor, gusto kong tanggapin si Jesus Christ. Yang Emmanuel, taas niyo yung kamay niyo. Meron ba ba? Meron ba? Sige, huwag kamay ha. Mga bata, sa amin din, sa mga katandaan, meron ba sa aming mga magulang, mga kabataan, kailangan mong tanggapin ang Panginoon. At sa hapon na ito, ako'y mananalangin ng isang panalangin na paggabay, isang panalangin. Pero itong panalangin na ito, hindi ito formula ng kaligtasan. Itong panalangin na ito, kailangan mo lang ng may pananampalataya. Pwede kang sumunod habang ako'y nananalangin, subalit hindi mahalaga na sumunod ka lang ang mahalaga ang pananampalataya mo sa panalangin. Sabagat ang pananampalataya mo ang magliligtas sa iyo. Maari kang sumunod pero walang pananampalataya hindi ka rin magkaroon ng tunay na kaligtasan. Ang maganda, taintim sa puso mo. Habang nananalangin ako, pwede kang sumunod. Sa mga nagtaas ng kamay, sa mga hindi, na gustong tumanggap sa Panginoon, hindi kita pipilitin. Subalit, kung gusto mong manampalataya sa Panginoon, pwede kang sumunod sa ganitong panalangin. Panginoong Diyos, ako po ay isang makasalanan. Ngayon, nalaman ko na ang Panginoong Yesus ay ipinanganak sa sabsaban. Nabuhay siya na walang kasalanan. Inialay niya ang kanyang buhay at siya'y namatay na buhos ang kanyang dugo para sa aking mga kasalanan. Inilibing siya at nabuhay na magmuli. At ako po ay nananampalataya. Panginoong Yesus, aking pong binubuksan ang aking puso, ang aking buhay. Tinatanggap kita bilang Panginoon at sarili kong tagapagligtas. Naway pumasok ka sa aking puso, pumasok ka sa aking buhay ngayon din. At maraming salamat po sa dakilang kaligtasan, sa dakilang regalo ng buhay na walang hanggan. Salamat Panginoon sa buhay na walang hanggan at kaligtasan. Ito po ang aking dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Pwede niyo nang dilat ang mga mata niya. This afternoon, if you pray a prayer like that with all your faith, ang sabi ng Bible, ang Panginoon ay nanahan sa inyong mga puso. Mga bata, kayo ba'y sumunod sa panalangin na may pananampalataya? Amen. You may be seated. Thank you very much. Aawit pa po ang junior choir for the last time. Gusto natin silang mapakinggan muli. Sige po, pasok po. Brothers and sisters, my name is Una Jehan Lois T. Bautista, and I have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Savior last July 23, 2023. I was blessed to grow up in a Christian family with parents who fears God. Before I was saved, Christmas was just a holiday full of gifts, games, foods, and parties. But since I started trusting and putting faith in God, I realized that Christmas is not about the festivities. And most of all, not about Santa Claus, is what the world usually believes. I once heard the song, 
Santa Claus is coming to town. But the truth is, it was the baby Jesus who came. The baby who, after more than 33 years since birth, will die on that cross of Calvary for you and me. And so, Christmas is really about my Savior, our Savior. The good news about Christmas is that He came to save you and me. Merry Christmas, everyone! Thank you for joining us tonight for Census Time in Bethlehem. The BBC Junior Choir is honored to share this message of hope and joy with you. Before we close, let us recognize the talented cast of characters. Stephen Shradley Fuller as Mr. B.A. Countable. Denver Tagle as Joseph. Jennifer Prichoso as Mary. The Shepherds, Juan Luis Medidas, Manny J. Cardotto, and Asher Franklin Garcia. Testimony by Una Bautista. We would also like to thank our dedicated production team for their hard work behind the scenes. We have our choir coordinator, Sister Grace Calamasa. And Sister Maribel De La Cruz. We also have our graphic designer, Brother Joshua Bihado. And of course,
course, our stage designer and children ministry director, Brother William Lyron. Once again, the BBC Junior Choir. Sige po, let's all stand up. Wow, ang saya. Next, next Sunday ulit, that will be the Real, Royal Christian Academy's Cantata. And on the following Sunday, the BBC Choir Cantata. Panginoon, salamat po. Ang mga bata, napakasaya nila. Yes, truly. When Christ was born, one of the messages was joy to the world. There is really joy when Jesus Christ is in the heart of every human being. At makita namin, kaming mga Christian, we celebrate Christmas, not the world, not as the world celebrates it, but the way the Bible celebrated it. Salamat po sa joy ng mga bata. Salamat din sa joy ng mga ng presence of the angels ngayon, ng mga bata at mga tumanggap sa inyo bilang kanilang Panginoon na tagapagligtas. Gamitin mo pa yung aming two kantatas na darating po. We praise you and we lift you up. We glorify you. And all the glory belongs to you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. And God's people say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much, BBC Junior Choir. <laughs>